days following an attack on a paramedic on Victoria's Pandora Avenue that drew a region-wide police response, there are concerns over the new strategy that Big PD has laid out. It's unfortunate. A paramedic was sent to hospital after being assaulted by the person they were helping. The attack, just one of few that happened this year, according to police. But it was the last straw. In a joint decision, fire and paramedics won't respond to any calls on the 900 block of Pandora until officers arrive. Uh, we've got to make sure that we don't take an approach which is way over the top. Vic PD says it's drafting up the new strategy on how responding to calls on that block will look like. The details aren't public yet, but Public Safety Minister Mike Farnworth is frustrated it's had to come to this. Farnworth saying he's outraged by the attack, but fully supports the chief's move. Cash Reed, a former police chief, is worried that too many officers may start responding to calls or may exercise their power over first responders. Or having uh, etched in stone a policy where in fact uh, the officers cannot exercise their own discretion or the firefighters or paramedics on whether they're safe in a particular environment. And we've, got to, we've got to leave that with them to determine. However, Reed says Vancouver police practiced a similar strategy during the beginning of the toxic drug crisis. So if the uh, fire services was responding or emergency health services were responding uh, and they thought it was in their best interest to wait for police to respond to support them, that was in place. But for those in Esquimalt, that new strategy could mean the few officers on duty in the township may have to drive over the bridge to respond. The police chief hasn't been clear what it means other than it will affect Esquimalt. On Monday, Big PD's 2025 budget will be discussed at a committee of the whole meeting. And the acting mayor says they're going to press the chief on what this new strategy will look like. This really is an issue that comes back to lack of social services. There is no perfect solution to this, but we will make sure that people in Esquimalt's voices are heard. Check News asked Vic PD for clarification on how this policy could affect residents in Esquimalt, but did not receive a response.